are those of us who are bureaucrats, who are the stewards of government. We've dedicated our lives to public service and to what government should be on its best day. And when you love something, you tell it when it's done something wrong. So today is a day where we acknowledge the harm that government and colonialization has done to the first people of this land. That original sin of native genocide that happened right here on this land was just the beginning of additional exclusionary laws and acts that have happened over generations. And so today, let that healing begin. I think many of us love and have a fierce pride about the city of Oakland. It is a city that has a special sense of belonging, a sense that everyone should feel at home here but you cannot feel at home when you have been put off of your own land. Today, we are trying to correct that harm by giving back to the Segorite Land Trust. of our lands, First People. And I will not speak for the incredible leader of the Sephora Day Land Trust because I want her to tell you in her own words, in this community's words, what this organization does and what it means. And so it's my tremendous pleasure co-founder of the Sikora Te Land Trust, chairwoman of the Confederated Villages of the Lishan Nation, Karina Gold. Many of you may have heard me say, that, say those words over years. The Chochenyo language, my great grandfather, Jose Guzman, was one of the last speakers of the language. My daughter, Deja, is the language carrier for our tribe. Oh. Reawakening a language that was suppressed for hundreds of years. 20 something years ago, when Janela LaRose the co-founder of the Saborite Land Trust, who stands with us today, started this work around sacred site protection in the Bay Area. And most people didn't know the word Ohlone. No one knew the word Alashan, and no one knew what shell mounds were. And over the last 20 plus years, we've worked to protect those sacred sites and those ancestors, and they have protected us. We have saw miracles that have happened because of the work that we have done through prayer. Remembering our ancestors so that they can remember us. Who knew that 20 plus years later, that land would start to come back to us in little bits and pieces in our territory of Buchun, the territory of the Lashan people that encompasses five Bay Area counties. Who knew that we would have a land trust an indigenous women-led land trust. Oh. The first in its kind, of its kind in the country. In an urban area 
where everything has been built upon. I imagine a place, a place called Oakland now, that has running streams again. Woo! Yeah. Woo! A place that has been abundant for thousands and thousands of years. Oh! A place that there is no more hunger or homelessness. A place where we can all live together, taking care of one another. The Segorte Land Trust is really about reimagining the world in that kind of a way. In 2018, we met with Mayor Libby Schaff. She watched a film that a friend of ours, Michelle Steinberg, put together called Beyond Recognition. Yeah. And when she watched that film, she asked us to come and be in a conversation with her and ask what can we do to heal? How do we begin to do that work together? And we began to talk about land back. And two of the people, two of the young women, and actually the only two young women that were working with us at the time, my daughter Deja and Victoria and Inez went to look for land in the uh, hills of Oakland to find any something and found this place called Sequoia Point. This place that's flat, a place that overlooks our territory, a place of great ceremonial place that my ancestors may have been going to for thousands of years, a place above the red rocks. It's a significant place for us, but it's a place that we imagine not just engaging the tribe, but everyone that lives in the Bay Area again. A way for us to take this land and to reimagine what it would have looked like, to re-engage with the plants and the trees, to re-engage with those things that are necessary for us to live. And so one of the plans as we go into this cultural easement that allows us to uh, get this land returned is to reimagine with the Bay Area what it could look like up there. And I think we're going to show something here. Somebody going to turn that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of a place in the hills that overlooks our territory, that, has a, that holds us in a basket as we offer prayers, a way for us to tell our story as Lashon people, a way for us to engage our relatives from all walks of life into stewarding this land in the way that it should be stewarded again. I wanna thank the city of Oakland and Darren and Brendan and Kelly for the amazing work that they have done to help to do this. This has been work that's been happening every other week for, for years now. I wanna thank my incredible staff that has continued to do that work with us and all of you that have continued to support the Segorite Land Trust and the sovereignty of the Confederated Villages of Lashon Nation. Council member.